Hi, this is Jason Romero, speaker and author on success and resilience and the first and only blind person to run across America. I'm coming to you today with episode 13 of a 60 part series, Relive the Run, Vision Run USA. Four years ago, I ran over 3,000 miles across America, averaged just under two marathons, and it's one of the top 10 fastest crossings in history and the first and only crossing by a blind person. It took me 60 days to run across America and I'm going back and I'm publishing a daily vlog and I'm sharing lessons I learned each one of those days. So today's lesson is remember to recover. And right now I'm sitting in my gravity chair and I'm in my recovery boots, my air compression boots. So right here, I'm gonna flip the screen. And you can see what uh, recovery boots look like. So you put your legs inside them, they're air compression boots, and they help to squeeze your legs, massage them, and also move uh, waste byproducts from your legs up into your torso so your body can process them. And it helps to recover. There's a variety of different recovery techniques I used, massage, ultrasound, e-stim units, um, ice baths, uh, salt baths, just a variety of different recovery tools. And I would do recovery every night on the run, regardless of whether I was injured or not. And that was a really important thing. And I think in life too, when we sit back and we talk about this, remember to recover, a lot of times we're going through life and we're just charging ahead, full steam ahead in work or in our personal life, giving our best, giving our most, but we don't take time to take care of ourselves. That, it's gonna build up sooner or later and then you're gonna have a blowout and you're gonna have to stop everything until you recover. The thing that I learned on this run is if you take time every day to recover, both physically and mentally, you're gonna do a lot better. I did really good physically. The mental part, I did not do so well. Kind of interesting on this day, when I look back four years ago, there was a, a entry into my audio journal actually where I noted that my daughter Sophia called me at exactly the right time that I needed to hear an encouraging voice. And Sophie actually called me every day and that was a huge part of my mental recovery. Hearing from my children, hearing from my family, or even just a note or letters from friends, that would help me with my mental recovery. And also just being mindful, trying to clear my mind, trying to just not think about what I was, what I was undertaking and run with this run. So lesson for episode number 13, remember to recover. On this particular day, uh, we were running through the mountains of Arizona. It's a 51 plus mile day, and it was up by Pace in Arizona. We were uh, increasing in elevation. I didn't realize there were mountains in Arizona, but there definitely are just east of Phoenix. And uh, it just seemed like we we're going up and up and up, and there was almost no shoulder of the road um, around a lot of uh, different blind turns. You know, got buzzed by quite a few semis and uh, it was scary it was scary uh, but that night when we got back to the hotel did my standard recovery work and despite having a lot of physical ailments injuries different um, you know pains if you will that consistent recovery helped to carry me on through the run so remember to recover uh, I wrote a book about my run it's called Running Into the Dark, and my second book, The Success Cycle, will be available in summer of 2020, so be on the lookout for that. If you like what you heard, please check my website, www.jasonromero.net. Uh, I was a business executive, attorney, um, Paralympian, and I do keynote addresses, commencement addresses, a lot of coaching with organizations, individuals on success and resilience, so look me up if you need help there. Uh, until tomorrow, Remember to recover. Take care of yourself.